Hello guys, Josh here, welcome back to the channel. So today's the day, the carpenter is on his way right now. We've cleared the room as you can see, so everything is ready to be installed, let me show you. Now last week we actually made a video explaining what was gonna be happening to this room. If you've not already seen it and you wanna go watch it, I'll put a link in the top right now. Alternatively, I'll show you a quick 3D render we made of what it's gonna look like. So yeah, the carpenter is going to run a big backboard along that wall, we're going to have shelving along it, we're going to have floating shelves on both of these walls. And then once he's done installing all of that, we can decorate everything. So we are going to be putting concrete wallpaper on all of these worktops, which is going to look sick. We're going to have a table running out the middle here. We're going to be using 3D panels on both of these walls. And on this backboard part, we're going to be installing those aluminium tiles. By the way, I put a GoPro on top of the projector to do like a time lapse today, so you guys will get to see every step of the process. All right, guys, I think the carpenter is here right now, so I'm gonna go grab the door. I'll try and do as much vlogging as I can. Obviously, I don't wanna get in the way of him doing what he's doing, but we do have that time lapse camera set up anyway, so hopefully, we should get some good stuff for you guys. I'll see you in a bit. So it looks like the support beams have been installed for the backboard and as you can see the backboard is starting to be installed so all good so far. Seems to be going pretty well so the entire backboard is installed now and the floating shelf or the first floating shelf is being installed so it's been installed at this height so that there is room to basically put some nano leaf panels on top of it and they will run all the way from the left side to the right side. So this is what we've got so far, as you can see the shelving has started to go up. I'm not sure how best to explain this because I'm not 100% sure on how it works, but Ricky knows what he's doing. Yeah, as you can see, we've got like a bottom piece of shelving right here, then we have some support in the middle and like a filler piece, and then there's an extra piece on top. So once they are done, they should look totally floating. Here are the nano leaf panels again. So as you can see, there is a line right here. That is where the panels are going to go. So they should finish up perfectly at the top. Thank you, Rick. You've done a fantastic job. <laughs> He's, having a, drink. He's having a drink. On, okay, Josh. let's do this again, guys. Take two. So we're all done now, guys. Rick has finished up. Rick, thank you for your help in this job. Well, I say well. help. He literally did the entire thing. And you guys will be able to see a part of that because I went and took a bunch of pictures and time lapse throughout the day. So I'm going to put Rick's uh, email address up on screen right now and in the description if you want to go and check him out. Best carpenter in all of Florida. I really appreciate that. And I want to give a quick shout out to Carrie, Ricky, and Chelsea. Love you guys. Three days later. <laughs> Action. Hey guys, welcome back to the room. The carpenter just finished up doing the carpentry wood building, as you would say. Just finished. Just Around finished. Three, three days three ago. Three days ago. So yeah. we're back at it again to show you everything that's been going on. Josh, if you want to step back. You can see that the carpenter did our two shelvings on the side of this wall. He completed the headboard and now we're just left with these exposed beams. Now, one of the problems that we had or trying to figure out is how to cover up the exposed wood and make it look modern and make it look futuristic. So I came up with this idea. I had some shelves just laying around the house and I was like, how can I utilize these shelves to help us in this office? So I came up with the idea of using these Ikea shelves they are called the, it's probably gonna butcher this name, but they're called the Mosolanda shelving units. And when you flip them over like this or the other direction like that, they kind of have this nice clean edge look. And when you put them on top of the wood, it creates like this modern look and you can use multiple ones 
to extend all the way around. And uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like up. All right, so these are what the shelves look like when they're laying on top of it. You can see the huge difference between these shelves and the finished ones. These are very easy to put on. Like I said, there's like a lip that just pushes right onto it. And then you can screw it in from the top and then these can be pushed down. And then Josh, if you wanna put the other one on, it's like a seamless end, so you can't really tell that there is not one piece. So we already finished the ones up on top and it looks really cool. Do you like the design? I love it. Yeah, originally I also had the idea to, you could probably even do it this way, is you could mount them directly in front of it like this and then it kind of creates this two tier shelving unit that you could put like your uh, controllers or action figures or whatever you want on there. But we decided to go with the, I believe this way. Beep and I think that will look really cool all the way around. So we're gonna install those and you guys are gonna come along with us. Okay, so, but one of the coolest things that we got that Josh and I have been obsessed with is our new table, table saw. Table saw, check it out. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, we got this from, this was from Lowe's. It wasn't actually that expensive. I think it was like maybe $250, which isn't that much for a table saw, but it's allowed us to start cutting everything. So you can see here we have cut this uh, shelf so that it fits in that corner and also we have started cutting all of these tiles as well mm -hmm. uh, or the 3d panels so we've got half there we've got the rest down there so just about to put these shelves up on top of the existing shelves but before we do that Nene is putting some countersunk holes in the tops of these so that the uh, screws sit flush with the wood So we're just prepping the panels so we can put them on the wall. We already cut these the other day on the table saw. So we're just putting some Gorilla Tape on them right now. So then we'll be able to stick them up on the walls. This is Finley. Say hello, Finley. Finley. Now don't headbutt the camera. <laughs> side down, now for the next side. All right, so I finished putting up the panels and they look super awesome. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the quality of them. Definitely gives that futuristic vibe that we were going for for our gaming setup. Do you like it? I love it, yeah. yeah. They weren't too difficult to actually stick up. Um, I did the cut in a few days ago. That was a little bit annoying because they kept chipping. We had to go to Lowe's, pick up like another blade that had finer teeth. Mm -hmm. So it didn't have the chipping issue. So most of them were straight, but I mean, they're up now and they look pretty good. Yeah, so make sure you guys come back for part two of the video of the Epic Gaming Setup build. In our next video, we're going to be installing these panels onto the headboard. And this is definitely going to bring the gaming setup together. This is definitely going to be a statement piece because when you put these lights or these panels up against the lights, there's a really nice glow from these. So imagine having RGB lights on these. It's going to look really nice. And then we also have... We're also putting up <laughs> this stuff, which is some like concrete wallpaper. Well, not putting it up, we're putting it on the desk. Mm -hmm. So all of the exposed wood you can see at the moment, that will all be covered by this kind of industrial looking concrete wallpaper. By the way, guys, if you want to pick up any of the stuff that we showed in today's video, so like the panels or this stuff or mm -hmm. those cool tile things, it'll be linked in the description for you. So go check that if you want to check them out. And then also when we were at Ke Ikea, I saw these shelving units. Originally, we were gonna use white shelves to put on the bottom here, but I really didn't want to do that because I felt like it would hide the cool panels that we have. So the cool thing about these is you can see them right behind it and it really adds that extra like futuristic design, I felt like, so that would be nice to go up. You remember when you was in school and you used to say this, you do like a presentation, say the same thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna say like and subscribe. <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> like. like <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe. But yeah, drop a like rating if you enjoyed, guys. Helps us out. You can catch us on social media at Tech Tesseract and, and Britney A3. And yeah, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one.